What are some of the deadliest substances known to humans? You know, the kind of stuff where a single drop can turn your insides to outsides, your eyeballs to fryballs, and can kill you before you can say, Ah! I'm being poisoned! I'm Dominic Burgess, and I'm here to run down five of the deadliest substances in the world, so you can make sure you're never anywhere near them. Can you keep it down, mate? Yeah. Sorry. Ah yes, the classic, number 33 on the periodic table, the king of poisons, the old inheritance powder. Arsenic is a crystalline metalloid that occurs naturally, making up about 0.00015% of the Earth's crust. Compounds of arsenic have been used in medicines for hundreds of years, treating ulcers as a sedative, as an antiseptic, and to cure syphilis. But a substance doesn't get called the king of poisons for its healing abilities. A lethal dose of about 200 milligrams will show effects within 30 minutes, giving you a metallic taste in your mouth, followed by extreme vomiting, seizures, and finally within a couple of hours, death. Some historians think that it's what killed Napoleon, although high levels of arsenic in his body may have been a result of people using it for pretty much everything in olden times. Olden times, because that's a real time period. We're much smarter though now, right? Well, maybe not. Some of our friends in the US are drinking arsenic from their taps every single day. It's at such a small amount though, at around 0.01 milligrams per litre, that it's not really anything to worry about. Next. There could be a murderer in your garden right now. Discovered by William Withering in 1775, digoxin is the toxic product of foxglove flowers, purple trumpet-shaped flowers that can be found in backyards up and down Britain. These flowers contain a compound called cardiac glycoside digoxin, a steroid bounded to a sugar that can mess up your heart worse than when your ex told you that she didn't like your science videos. Once in the bloodstream, probably from the syringe of an assassin that you got on the wrong side of, digoxin interferes with electrical signals in the heart, causing it to slow and eventually stop. Before that happens, you'll get stomach pains, headaches, and a short-lived increase in heart rate as your body tries to respond to the lack of oxygen and hallucinations. In 1898, Marie Curie, the famous physicist and chemist, discovered polonium. And after years of working with the stuff, and slightly unsurprisingly, she died of radiation poisoning. Although polonium-210 can be found in soil, the atmosphere, and even in our bodies at trace amounts, it is still incredibly dangerous. A single microgram, the size of a speck of dust, is enough to deliver a deadly dose of radiation if swallowed. It was polonium-210 that reportedly killed Russian spy Alexander Litvinenko in 2006, after it was slipped into a cup of tea. Colourless, tasteless, and undetectable by Geiger counter, many have described it as the perfect poison. Once inside the body, polonium quickly gets into the spleen, the kidneys, the liver, and bone marrows, resulting in hair loss, vomiting, and diarrhoea. There is no cure and death comes in a matter of days. That's why I always eat my food alone, in the basement, in a wardrobe, inside a safe. I take the key, it's on a bit of string, I loop it round, I lock the safe, pull it back round, swallow the key, job done. Tetrodotoxin, or TTX as it's more commonly known, is a neurotoxin often found in pufferfish, as well as the blue-ringed octopus and a bunch of other deadly species that don't want to be eaten. The toxin is the last line of defense for the puffer fish. If a predator does manage to swallow them, then they will release the TTX often found in the ovaries and liver and poison themselves to death. It's these poisonous organs that make them so dangerous to prepare for humans. If your chef gets this one wrong, then your lips and tongue will begin to burn, your mouth will erupt with saliva, and you'll get very, very sweaty. You'll no longer be able to speak, swallow, seizures will begin and your body will slowly shut down, all while you're still lucid but completely unable to move. Death comes after about six hours of symptoms and there is no antidote. Yep, the stuff that celebrities inject into their faces in the form of Botox is the most acutely lethal toxin in the world. Found in the bacterium Clostridium botulinum, the toxin was first recognized and isolated in 1895 by Emil van Ermingham after some cured ham gave 34 people botulism. 
rather than bury this toxin at the bottom of the ocean where it couldn't hurt anyone, we decided that injecting into our faces was a good idea, albeit in minuscule quantities. And so in 1987, the modern Botox industry was born. An injection of just two billionths of a gram directly into the bloodstream is enough to kill an average adult by inhibiting the signals between synapses, paralyzing vital organs and causing respiratory failure. Just two kilograms of the stuff would be enough to wipe out the entire population of Earth. So there you have it, five of the deadliest substances known to man. But if you think we've forgotten any, just pop them in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe to BritLab for more science videos. What are you doing? Shh, 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 shh. There you go.